a million people saw the SmackDown. Almost none of them understood it. But I'm going to break it down for you. All the zingers, the science, and what the hell was actually going on between Sean Carroll and Eric Weinstein. Royale started with a challenge. Eric throws down the gauntlet. Translation? He's demanding Sean explain why the standard model works, but doesn't explain itself. Sean, cool as ice, flips open the theory. Right. That wasn't just a burn. That was Sean's attempt at a diagnostic. He's saying that this isn't physics, it's a manifesto. Snidely implying that it's not worth his time. Eric's furious, not just about the zingers, but about exclusion, gatekeeping. He believes physics is being gatekept by insiders posing as open-minded explorers. He's had his own explorations, and he's brought down gates before in his famous conversation with Terrence Howard on Joe Rogan. Sean's no bureaucrat. He calmly walks through why physicists still take string theory seriously. In other words, string, theory's, mm, string theory may be weird, but it seems to work, at least in some cases. And it gives him reason not even to think about Eric's theory of geometric unity. Eric fights back. The whole system's in crisis. He believes geometric unity can solve the problem string theorists haven't dared to touch in decades. He's also, he's also accusing Sean and his ilk of fear-mongering and gatekeeping. Is this a debate between a maverick and a guardian of orthodoxy? Or between two men who agree on more than they admit and should maybe get a room together just as long as they understand who goes into the room first? Stay tuned. I'm going to break down the details of this because I don't think many people understand it. And I want to make sure that you do because you're the most brilliant audience in the multiverse and you need to understand. Stakes couldn't possibly be higher. Stay tuned and hit the bell below so you don't miss the upcoming video.